it's definitely. Sorry about it, yeah. How's it going, mate? You alright? Yeah, yeah, all good, yeah. So you join us today for 24 hour session at Linear Fisheries. Uh, yeah, me and Ashley decided last minute to come down here. We've had a fantastic year using the Bait Guru stuff. So this is the first time we've fished together as well, isn't yeah, it? So, first time for me being at Linear as well, to be honest yeah, with you. So, so yeah. yeah, we're looking forward to it. If we don't catch anything, I'm sure we'll have some fantastic food either way with <laughs> yeah. Ashley being an ex-chef. So yeah, it should be really, really good. But as soon as we got here, coincidentally, um, there was one of the bait guru team fishing here. We didn't actually reckon, recognize each other to begin, no, begin with. He, was, he recognized us more than them. Yeah, than it was one of them like, you know, we know you, maybe we don't know you. So, but then it transpired that he was on the bait guru team and coincidentally, he'd literally just landed one. He had one in the sling. So let's go and have a look at that fish now. What do you reckon, Trev? Uh, what? Four three. Do you four three? Yeah, so what a cracking start. What a lovely fish as well, actually. Yeah, was. cracking fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah really, really nice. nice. So, yeah, basically the plan for today, if we don't catch anything, as I said, I'm sure we'll eat well anyway. Uh, but Ashley is prolific with the with the washing line method. And coincidentally, we're in the double peg. We've decided to set up there. And yeah, the right-hand side of this peg, there's a fantastic opportunity for him to use that method. You've had some brilliant fish this year, haven't you? Cracking fish, yeah. So, uh, yeah, basically he's going to show us uh, how to set it up, but I, I know I don't know if you are, but I'm itching to get the rods I'm itching out. To get the rods so, out, uh, him, mate, yeah. yeah, let's go and get them out, and then he's going to show you on his final rod how to use the washing yeah. line method. Yeah. Let's get the rods out. Let's go. Let's go, go. On, mate. Yeah. One of my favourite methods is using the washing line. And we're just going to have a quick look at it, how we're going to set it up right now. First thing I usually do is I'll cast over to the bank or a spot on the bank where I can easily pick up the lead and so I can ship it out when I get over there. So I'm just going to cast over there now. So that's just in the margin. I can go in with my waders and I can just pick the line up out the edge and set up from there. So now I'm cast over there, my rod's on the rest, so I can set the drag loose. So when I'm over there, I can peel off line, I can set it up. And as soon as the rig's out, that's it, rod set. We haven't got to do anything else. So I'm just going to be using a Ronnie rig, a size four trig hammer. It's one of my favorite hook patterns and an orange essential fruits pop up. So this will be the clip once you've got it out of the packet. It's a skills clip. Um, so what I do is I'll loop this round on itself, this little clip here. 
clip it in. So you got a knock, so you got a good loop there. Then what I do, just as of ease, a storm pole, temp peg. That's it. Nice and secure. Then what you do then? Undo that cam. And what you'll do is you'll get your lines, so there's, there'll be your lead clip and your, and your rig, and you'll put the ship that out. Then what you'll do, clip it in like so. Send the cam round. And that's it, so that'll be going tight to your rod like so. And that'll be slacked down to your, to your lead. So then when you get a when you get a run, it'll basically just and you'll just have a big drop back and then you know you're in. So schoolboy ever. I've left my baiting ball at home. I didn't think I'd need it here. So I'll fashion something together. So what I'm doing now is I'm just instead of wading in, disturbing the spot, I'm gonna I'm just fishing the line out of the water. I can see it's just hooked over a reed here, so I can bring it in. I can get my rig all clicked on and everything. So I'll just lay my rig in, lay the lead in like that. Get the rig, make sure there's no kinks in the hook thing. Place it in so I can tip it in. Just usually stick the, I'll stick the PVA to the spoon just so the rig doesn't move whilst I'm moving it out. So we're just going to ship it out now. Bit of a precarious one where we are, but there's a spot, it's a nice bit of deep water there. Seal the lead down. <coughs> So now we've just we've set the rig, let the line sink like you would usually. Make sure it's not going to get tangled around anything. And then that's it, undo the clip. Line's in, trapped. Turn the cam round the right way. And that's it. That's directly to your main line. That's down to there, and then the fish will pull that and it will ping out. We hope. So now we're over there, we've got it all set up and that. We can come round, it, round here, because if there's a bit of slack line, which there is lying on top of the water, we can just come round here. And we can just watch down to the spot. And that's it, it's just picked out the water. A nice bit of tension there. Then what will happen when you get a run, it'll just be like a massive drop back. Sorry, phone's just come up, look. Oh, happy days. <laughs> it's quite far out as well, to be honest. Um, so yeah, so that's how, that's the washing line method. That's how I've caught most of my fish this year. It's uh, been quite prolific for me and it, it's a bit of a faff, but once you get used to it, and I will say these clips are an absolute game changer. But yeah, it's uh, I've had well over 100 carp this year on the washing line, so it's... Um, Certainly works for me. Hope it works for you sometime. Belly pool first. Oh my god. Good, yeah.
Right, so that's the end of the session. Have you enjoyed it, mate? I've oh, really enjoyed myself, yeah. It's been good, Yeah, it? it's been great. It's been, it's been really, really good. good, yeah. Top company, really good food. We're going to get out again, aren't we? Going to go to your lake yeah. in February, as long as it's not frozen over. And we'll, we'll definitely have a few there, I think. Definitely, and teach him the washing line. Yeah, because that's something I've never used. And thanks for showing everyone yeah. on camera. It's, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fantastic for everyone to, to have a look at that, how that's being done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's so it's now December, so basically it's when's Christmas this Saturday? Literally like four days. Yeah, and right? it's uh, Wednesday today, so it's, yeah, it's been a cold session. Everything was frozen over last night and stuff, so but we've enjoyed it nonetheless. It was good to see a fish on the bank as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely, so, definitely. Should we reel in? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Go on. Yeah. yeah.